Katie. I will be starting on the Peak Vitality Solutions transformational journey. So I'm going on this journey for a few things. So first, I have a rock climbing competition coming up in September. I have the New York City Marathon in November, and then a trip to Everest. No big deal. So in partnership with Peak Vitality Solutions, I will be sharing my wellness journey here on the Vitality Network in real time. So starting with my wellness background. Um, I'm a very active person, but you'll never see me in the gym. I hate the gym. I love to rock climb. I go to rock climbing gym if that counts. I love to run. I love to surf. I love to ski in the winter. I have so many hobbies. I, I, I can't even name them all, but I've never really had a workout plan for any of them, nor do I warm up before runs. I know it's bad, but I've never really known what to do. I see what people do, but I'm like, am I doing it right? I don't know if I'm doing it right. So I'm sure that's something that's gonna change. And I know overall it's gonna be better for my body that I have one anyways. Lifestyle wise, I do work full time and I'm always on the go and like to end up in different cities or countries a little too often, which is why I'm doing a mix of my program both virtually and in person. I mean, my main goal is to successfully be a part of all these trips, competitions, races that I have coming up successfully and healthy and not regret them the next day or in 10 years. I've also never had a wellness program or recovery program, like I said. So my hopes is to really be more educated in the wellness space and how it is affecting all these activities I'm doing right now and how maybe later in life it's gonna help me as well. So let's see how this transformation will go. So starting with Peak Vitality Solutions, I was presented that there would be three four-week stages that make up the transformational roadmap. So starting stage one, phase one, preparation. This phase just involved filling out my vitality awareness questionnaire. This was just like taking any quiz you find online. It took me about 15 minutes to complete, and it was just talking about myself and my current wellness. So I really hope I passed. Stage one, phase two, consultation. So with phase one done, Again, really hope I passed. We will see. I had the option of doing this virtually or in person, but chose to do it in person just because I was feeling like I was being behind the computer all day for a couple days. So I met Yao at Sports Lab in Midtown Manhattan. Yao and I talked through my questionnaire responses and dove deeper into what the entirety of my goals were, my time commitment I had for this, and generally just life things that may impact my program. It was about a 30 minute conversation overall and at the end, we move right on to phase three, assessment. So the assessment lasted for about an hour, and I think I learned more about wellness ever in my life, and I haven't started the coaching yet. Like, I'm a pretty darn active person. I can climb all day, run a marathon, keep going, and I was like, I'm ready for this. No. I quickly learned how the left side of my body is not on par with the right side. And so much about how every single tiny muscle in your body is just your abs and your feet playing a role in everything. Then, now, use the abs and use your left inner thigh to bring you down. Come back up. Good. So I want you to straighten out this leg and use your inner thigh squeeze to guide you down that stretch. Feel the difference here? But now we're stable. If we fall or we reach or climb up something, we can do so. Do you see what I'm saying? Now we're going to do that two more times and be on your whole foot instead of on the toe box. And it was just nothing I was prepared for. So that one hour was very eye opening to me, and I walked away with so much knowledge, so much I learned about my body, I had no idea. I was very ready to get this program. So then I moved on to stage one, phase four, programming. I am very much a person that wants to rush into and start everything right away. So it's itching to get to this phase. I scheduled to do my programming virtually uh, just because of time restraints. And Yao presented and walked me through every part of my Vitality program. So this would be your MET, my Movement Efficiency Template. This program was created with the results from the past three phases. 
and Yao recommended me focusing on the, re the recovery pillar and exercise pillar of ETS first. I wanted to get the exercise and recovery first before I start getting into the nutrition pillar, just because that's going to be actually the most important thing for us. So we can have that sustained muscle for the task of this program, which is to get you through Mount Everest and still be Katie Emerson, right? <laughs> uh, we still want to make sure that you enjoy the process. No, seriously. Uh, because it could be a drudgery if we're not prepared for VTS. So we have those three are going to be active, right? For the five, for the exercise, for the four, which is recovery, for the three, which is nutrition. The sleep and mindset right now will be inactive while we get uh, acclimated to those three programs. Once you're able to say, okay, now I got it. All right, now we can start introducing the sleep and the mindset to it. So we're going kind of uh, ascending order of which is the easiest to get consistent with, which would be exercise and recovery, and then nutrition comes, and then sleep, hygiene, and then uh, mindset training. We created a schedule based on these two pillars, taking into account my love and need to always continue rock climbing in my current running schedule, and just overall life schedule. Would be your days that you would have the mindset to go in and train. So where you're like, okay, this is the day where I'm not going to have a big climb day or uh, I'll have more energy day because I have less work. Um, you want that day to be just the time that you're going to go with the vital to lift. Uh, probably Wednesday. I was really excited to walk away with something tangible and actually feeling like I could stick to this program because of how personalized it was to my life. So that's been my first few days with this transformational journey. And next week we start into the final phase of stage one. So come back to the Vitality Network next week.